The Hernando County Jail is housing more than inmates these days. They're extra bodies. Actually, I actually count the dogs too to make sure that they're all still here. These greyhounds have been around the track more than once, but this is their first trip to jail. It is special for us, but we worked very hard to get in here in the first place, you know, like to get into the thing. You have to, you know, it's, you have a lot of responsibilities. Rhonda Smith and her partner Katrina are taking care of Paco. And they don't care what you did and they don't care, you know, what you're in here for, or what color you are, or what you wear. They just know that you love them. Second Chance for Life is a pilot program organized by the National Greyhound Foundation. Greyhounds live with the inmates for 12 weeks. Two inmates are charged with the task of domesticating and training the canines for adoption. Let them off. The idea is the program helps the inmates develop parenting skills and become more responsible. Correction officers say there's been less fights since the dogs moved in. I really didn't know how they were going to be coming into the environment, but I've seen a big change with the females. Keep a little bit of space in there. Okay, Tracy Sebastian has worked with the inmates and greyhounds in Indiana and Michigan prisons. But Hernando is the first county jail in the country to use the program. Yeah, and one of the biggest problems with, with adoption groups is having foster homes for them. So with the prison systems, we can, instead of saving one or two dogs at a time, we can save 100 or 200 dogs at a time. <laughs> and bring a smile to many faces. And the dogs kind of bring the kid out, and us too, not only... Do we help the dogs, but the dogs help us. So he's my boy. I'm gonna be upset when he leaves, but leaves, but he's got to go on to the bigger picture, which is a, a, a permanent home. Who knows? Maybe one of these cell dogs could be perfect for you. In Hernando, David Leonard, Tampa Bay's 10 News.